Okay, in this video, part two of the electromagnetic spectrum, I'm going to show you how to convert from wavelength to frequency to energy. Each portion of the electromagnetic spectrum has its own wavelength, its own frequency, and its own energy, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, in part one, I give a brief overview of the electromagnetic spectrum, its parts, some examples, and then also a brief overview qualitatively of what uh, wavelength, frequency, and energy are in terms of the electromagnetic spectrum. In this video, we're going to do some calculations. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate from wavelength. Excuse me, I'm going to give you a wavelength, show you how to calculate the frequency, and then show you how to calculate the energy. These are the equations that we're going to use. The energy in a photon of light is equal to hf, Planck's constant, times f, times the frequency. This is h, which is Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Then we can calculate this, uh, the frequency or the wavelength. This is lambda, the symbol for the wavelength, using our equation c, which is the speed of light equals the frequency times the wavelength. Here is the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to 8 meters per second. Now we have a third equation that we can use if we want to, but we get the third equation by solving the second equation for f, plugging the this equation, the frequency, substituting in for the f in our first equation, and we get that the energy is also equal to h times c, Planck's constant, times the speed of light, divided by the wavelength. Okay, so we have two equations for wavelength. One if we know the frequency, and one if we know the wavelength. The other things are constants. All right, now in this video, I'm going to kind of take the long way around to getting to the energy. I'm going to use just the first two equations. We're going to start with energy wavelength. I'm going to show you how to calculate frequency because sometimes you want to know the frequency. And then I'm going to show you how to calculate the energy. Here we have our conversion factors. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to, the minus, 10 to the minus 19 joules. And one meter is equal to 1 times 10 to the 9 nanometers. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to choose a wavelength, the wavelength that I decided to choose somewhat randomly is 415 nanometers. That's in the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's the short end. That would be blue light, and I'm going to convert first from nanometers to meters so that we can calculate the frequency. So our conversion factor is 1 meter is equal to 1 times 10 to the 9 nanometers. I put the nanometer in the bottom so that I can cancel those and I left and I'm left with 4.15 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Okay. I have to convert to meters so that I can have my base units for my metric system which all my equations are based on. So I start now with my second equation to solve for the frequency cuz c is frequency times the wavelength. In this case, I'm going to solve for the frequency which is c divided by the wavelength. c is 3, the speed of light, 10 to the 8 meters per second. I'm going to put that over the wavelength in meters, 4.15 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. This meters cancels with this meters. I'm left with 1 over s, or cycles per second, which is my unit for frequency which we write down as hertz. In this case, it's 7.23 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Okay, so that's step one. We went from wavelength in nanometers, converted to meters, and then calculated the frequency in hertz. All right, let's erase this, go on to our next slide, and now we're going to calculate the energy. Now, I'm going to use the same frequency, that are the frequency that I calculated on the previous slide, which is 7.2, what we say, 3 times 10 to the 14 hertz. All right, now I'm going to calculate energy. I'm just going to use my first equation here. H is a constant. I know the frequency. That means the energy is equal to H. F, Planck's constant times F, which is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And I multiply that times my frequency, 
seven point two three ten to the fourteen hertz. Hertz is one over s, so one over seconds cancels with seconds. I'm left with joules, which is good because that's what I want. And therefore, the energy in this case is equal to 4.79 times 10 uh, to the minus 19 joules. All right, now I have my energy in joules, and let's go and do a unit conversion, a dimensional analysis conversion, and just convert 4.79 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, and let's convert that into electron volts. Here's my conversion factor for my electron volts to joules. So I'm just going to say that one electron volt is equal to 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And that ends up being just about three electron volts. Okay, so there you can see we have it. We have our conversion from 415 nanometers. We went to meters. Then we went to, what do we do next? Then we went to frequency. And then we went to energy in joules. And now we have energy in electron volts. And you can basically go back the same way just doing the reverse process, reversing your um, conversion factors and using the same equations, you'll end up with 450 nanometers. And sometimes it's a good idea to do that just to check. Okay? Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, question, in the comment section below. Thank you very much.